Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. Today we are going to talk about the tilt and reach function of Mercedes-Benz. This is a CLK uh, 500 and this is common across many, many makes and models, let's say from 2000 to 2010, definitely. As this functionality is common on most of the cars that has this electric reach and tilt function on any Mercedes. Okay, basically there can be few things wrong with the uh, tilt function. As you can see, the reach function on this car does work. And I, I know that most of the car has no problem with this reach function because it's a very reliable system. It's totally based on uh, metal on metal uh, mechanism. But the tilt function, on the other hand, as you can see on this car, I can only hear a click. This means the motor doesn't run. So there might be the issue with the computer, with the steering wheel and uh, seats computer. And there can be the problem with the relay inside it. Or... The motor itself can be uh, damaged or uh, non-functional or the other problem might be the mechanism that has few uh, gears inside. So that mechanism might be stuck. But one thing I know, the reach function is always functional on most of these cars. But the tilt function unfortunately has the typical issue of rubber flex being damaged and the motor rotating uh, freely for itself. Most of the cases uh, you can still uh, tilt your steering just a little bit if you uh, for example use the lower tilt lower function at the same time tap on the top of your steering wheel just a little bit that uh, damaged rubber might kind of rotate by tapping on the steering wheel and helping it to lower your steering wheel just a little bit so that trick might work for you but in some other cases it might not uh, be useful to do this so if the problem is the module the module of the steering wheel is the same as the module for the driver side seat which is inside the uh, the door and behind the door tray. But the fuse for uh, these uh, this function is behind this trim piece over here. And if you remove that, number 27 fuse is the steering wheel adjustment. And number 29 is the power for the uh, seat module. Okay, now this car is my CLK320 and this is a different problem. So when you use the reach function, it does work, but the tilt option, you hear the motor noise. So this issue, when you hear the motor noise, that means there is no problem with your electrical. It's only the matter white rubber flex being cut and damaged. So if you replace that white rubber, that uh, would solve your problem. Okay, here I've got a beautiful piece of engineering from Mercedes. This is coming from a CLK uh, 320 Mercedes 2004. And as you can see, it's beautiful. The way it's designed, even this flex is beautiful. But everything is beautiful except one little tiny things that I, I will talk about it very soon. This is the steering column. Of Mercedes and this is the gearbox for the tilt function and here is the functionality for the reach function as you can see over here so there is a separate motor over here as you can see 
underneath that is mated using that flex uh, rubber to the gearbox as you can see you can see the gears down there and that motor rotates that flex and the gearbox and ultimately uh, that gearbox makes this uh, shaft go up and down and the steering column goes up and down and same uh, on this side on this side you have the uh, motor for the reach uh, option and it energizes that shaft over there and that shaft extends and that extension extends this column so the problem is that flex over there that flex over time after 10 years after all the years uh, because it requires some sorts of flexing it gets damaged and it gets cut from the middle and in that case you will have your tilt motor running you hear the motor running but that gearbox doesn't get energized This steering uh, column is out and reaching every single part is, I mean, should be very easy. I mean, if you, if you intend to replace that uh, rubber flex on your car, you have to go through all the positions and all the tortures to reach that part. But I have it on, uh, on my table, easy and I can do whatever I want over here and let's see how long it takes for me to remove that part so basically I tried to remove these four bolts from here and that didn't work so I'm going to use the other option of taking this bolt off and then uh, and I know this uh, is much easier way to achieve uh, success over here so you remove this bolt from here no problem and then you can basically over here on the table uh, lift this column so you can access now uh, the flex part but here is the problem in order to remove this if you move this forward and backward that will not be enough for you to take this off so in order to remove this now I have basically two options now I might uh, want to remove the uh, the whole uh, mechanism from here one bolt two bolts three bolts and four bolts and then trying to remove this from here which definitely is possible and then finally getting into this uh, rubber flex so success but in saying so let's say this is on the car itself and you want to reach that and you cannot you cannot lift the column the way I did you either have the choice to uh, remove two bolts uh, from this uh, motor over here and push it back to be able to access this and remove it or you need to remove the gearbox which it's not going to be easy in that position okay I was trying to look at this uh, rubber flex over here and unfortunately i cannot find any part number mercedes logo or part number on this part at all so unfortunately i cannot provide you the part number but hopefully you'll be able to find it by yourself 
One more point about uh, this motor over here. This is the third motor. So we have three motors in a very short distance over here. This is a very complicated uh, example of a steering column from Mercedes. This third motor is responsible for locking and unlocking your steering column and steering wheel. And this avoids uh, Mr. Theft to uh, uh, just steal your car. So this is super important too. You don't want to hamper anything over here, this connector. There is four pin here that goes to your ECU uh, straight away. And this is the security of your car. This is super important not to touch because any malfunction from this uh, bad boy can uh, cause some catastrophic issues. What I'm going to suggest you guys, this is a very long process and it's going to affect the safety of your car as well this is the steering wheel this is the steering of your car this is very important if you are not super confident about the mechanical and electronics of your car and if you're not an expert please don't go ahead and do this uh, I think this is the best recommendation that I can give you not to uh, do this your job yourself this is I think this is not a DIY job this is a very lengthy project and it involves you to take many many parts and uh, be in different position underneath the steering wheel and hopefully if you do it yourself make sure please to torque everything to the factory torque specs that I don't even have here you should use your WIS program to find the uh, torque specs for all these bolts that you're going to take. This is the problematic part itself always and most of the time. And in this case, I think they have gone ahead and they have probably replaced this. That's why I don't have any part number on it. Okay guys, I hope this video will be informative for you and you find your problem and you solve your problem and hopefully you leave it for an expert or a Mercedes uh, itself to solve this problem. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching, subscribing and liking and please leave your comment down below. Let me know your experience and your thoughts about the process and about this project. Have a good day.